Where are you coming from? When did you come? Answer my question directly or I will squeeze the life out of you. You dare not raise your voice at me. You left this house for two days. No call. And when I decided to also leave, you go around threatening people. Go in there, pack your things and leave my house. What did you just say? You heard me. I don't want to see you in this house. I am not going anywhere. You want me to push you out, Abby? So you are the only person that is allowed to leave this house and come back anytime, Abby? Are we the same? Am I your mate? Is this your father's house? Oh, I have told you times without number. Not to always drag my parents into our argument. I don't do that to you. I will kill you with my bare hands if you try it. Everything is always all about you. Yes, everything is supposed to be all about me. Because I am the man of this house and I won't tolerate nonsense from you. I am a woman and I deserve some respect too. You will get the respect in your father's house. Go and pack your things or I will help you pack them. I am not going anywhere. Why should I be the one to pack house when we are both at fault? Oh, you want to make decisions in my house. Wait and see what I will do. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. You win. Where did you sleep last night? When you didn't come back yesterday morning, I felt bored. So I went to visit Stella. I stayed for long and didn't check the time. When I saw your call, I knew you were back. So I decided to pay you back. Do you know how dumb you sound right now? I know you are lying to me. You are at Larry's house. I'm not lying to you. I slept at Stella's house. And how do you expect me to believe that? I don't know, but my watch should be enough for you. You lie too much these days. And that makes it hard for me to believe you. I don't know what else to say, but that is the truth. I want to see Stella. I want to confirm if truly you slept there. Why do you want to be embarrassed me in public? Taking you there means that you don't trust me. I don't care what it means. I want to make sure you did not sleep in Larry's house or another man's house. I'm sorry, I can't take you there. Then get ready to leave my house. It hasn't gotten to that. It has, oh. If in the next 10 minutes I don't see Stella, then get ready to leave my house. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry for sleeping out. I just wanted to show you how it feels like to be left alone without knowing the person's whereabouts. You are speaking in tongues. Your time is ticking. And the 10 minutes starts now. Stella! What is it again? Is it another bad dream? Jesus! What are you doing on my bed? What are you talking about? It's me, the love of your life. What are you doing on my bed, young woman? Are you okay? It is me, Miriam. Get up from my bed this minute. My love, I don't understand you. You are acting weird. Have I done something wrong? Ha! Ah, my head, oh! Are you okay? Don't touch me. How did you get into my room? We have been living together for a while now. If you check your wardrobe, you'll see my clothes. What nonsense are you uttering from your mouth? Today is our wedding day. I don't understand why you are acting this way. What? Our wedding? God forbid bad thing. Where is my Stella? What did you do to her? What can I possibly do to Stella? Stella is no longer in this town. She went back to the village. But I am available now. No, this can't be true. My Stella cannot leave me just like that. We were planning to get married. You don't need to cry. She confessed she didn't love you. She was only using you. The main reason why she traveled was her engagement with another man. I know Stella. She can never do such a thing. What happened to me? And why am I just hearing that Stella left town? And how did you get into my house without getting chased out by me? You were sick. You fell down from a 10-story building and broke your spinal cord. And it affected your brain. That was why Stella ran away from you. But I stood by you. I took care of you until you got well and decided to marry me. How did I get to a 10-story building? I don't know. You should be grateful that I saved you. I need to see Stella. Oga, Stella is not in town. How many times did I tell you? Come and lie down. We have two hours to sleep before we prepare for our wedding. I don't want to hear that statement from your mouth again. I need to look for Stella. How can you even think of looking for someone that abandoned you when you needed her the most? I don't believe everything you have said. I need to see her to confirm things for myself. How will you find your way to the village? After checking on her in her house, yeah, I will go to her village. She took me there once, so I will find my way there. My love, let's forget her and start our lives together. I am done with this conversation with you. Now leave my house. Darling, please, is this how you will pay me back after everything I did for you? I didn't beg you to do anything for me. You should have left me there to die. God forbid. I love you. 
Don't chase me out, please. Leave my house, woman. What about the 20 million you promised me? Which 20 million? Did I promise you anything? Yes, you did. You were supposed to give me the check, but I was too busy yesterday. I couldn't go to the bank to cash it out. I told you to wait till money before you gave me the check. How much of my money have you squandered so far? I don't know. Leave my house. I won't say it again. <laughs> Had I known, I would have collected that check when you gave it to me. Can you please give me some money for compensation? Even if it is 10 million, I will manage. You are even here. You and I know I come here all the time. I should have known. So you are still angry at me because of a woman? Then leave her for me. But you are getting married, dude. What's marriage? Sylvia and I are not getting married. I'm sure Sarah know already. Same old story. No, bro. She is in a relationship with one of my business partners. Seriously? Yes. Well, sorry about that. Now that you know, are you letting me have my woman back? What woman? What kind of question is that? Sarah, of course. Eh, uh, depends. Depends on what again? We would see. Hi sis. Is this the Stella you told me about? Yes, she is. Is there a problem? Young woman. My name is Stella and not young woman. Stella or whatever your name is. Do you know Susan? Yes, I do. How do you know her? She's my friend. For how long have you been friends with her? Is this some kind of interview or what? Sis, I'm sorry, but please just answer him for clarity's sake. Mr. Man, what was your question again? For how long have you been friends with her? Not too long. Three months or more. When was the last time you saw her? I saw her last night and she left this morning. Are you satisfied now? Babe, who is he? You don't know my fiancé? No, I don't. This is my first time of seeing him. My love, meet Stella, my friend. Babe, meet my husband-to-be, Mr. Freeman. Nice to meet you, Stella. It is my pleasure. Welcome to my humble abode. Sorry for the way we barged into your house. It's fine. I'm not bothered. Excuse me, guys. I need to answer this. Yes, I lived with my sister, but she packed out. So, Stella, you live alone here. I heard what happened to you. Your sister is wicked. Nothing happened to me. So, since then, you are still single. I am not single. I am engaged to be married soon. I know you are just trying to console yourself. I know everything that happened to you. Your sister used a love potion to snatch your fiancé from you. And ever since then, you have been single. And who told you all this? Don't worry about who told me. So now that you know, what do you want me to do? I'm here for you. It is not good for a beautiful lady like you to be lonely. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that you should give me a chance to let me keep you company and make you happy. You are too beautiful to be alone. Have you forgotten I am your fiance's friend? Hey guys, I hope I didn't take too long. Who called you? My mom. She said she had something private to discuss with me. That was why I left with the call.